millions of years of knowledge that's within this stone. Mitchell Hedges was looking for a connection between Atlantis and the Maya. According to Mayan elders that come from Lubantun where the skull was found, they say that it's a communicator to the gods. No one really knows who made it and when it was made. So you're saying Got this it. is the, the true alignment for Lionsgate, and we're here with the, yeah, the Mitchell real Hedges real. Crystal Skull, so that's exciting. Yeah, and, and you know, we're, we're working with a lot of the Egyptian uh, lords and and of spiritual beings from that period right now. <laughs> Let's find a comfortable position for everyone and just start some slow, deep breathing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the breathing that you want to do when you have time, even three breaths, whatever, you want to be able to think of your, your stomach. And as you breathe in through your new nose, bring the air down and fill your stomach with air. Fill it out like a balloon. And just keep breathing in until it starts going up into your chest, into your lungs. And when it's right about your, your heart chakra, just hold your breath and hold it, I'd say, for 10 seconds at least. And then want to uh, breathe out through your mouth slowly. And what you want to think about is when you're breathing in, you're breathing the breath of the creator into your body. Feel it coming in and going right through all the way to your into your stomach, filling it up. And then lock it right at your at your heart chakra. And then when you breathe out, you're breathing back your air into the creator. So you're putting that in your eye in your mind. So start the breathing now, see how it feels. And make let's do two full breaths. Do it now. As we start the meditation, I'm connecting the skull with the other 12 skulls. I connect them now. I ask him all the divine beings, the Angels, archangels, ascended masters, guides, galactic warriors of light, galactic light council, all those beings that would like to be with us, please join us now. Now there's a circle of light that goes around all of us, pulling us into the circle. And as you breathe in this beautiful light now, this golden light coming from high in the heavens, right from the heart of the Father, bringing it down, bringing it down, and bring it down through your crown, through your body, and then sending it deep into the earth, deep into the earth, deep into the heart of the earth, deep into the heart of the mother. And at the same time, you see this light going into the skull, through the skull, and down, down into the heart of the mother. And then feel this great love, her great love coming back up, up through your body and right in your heart. Right through the skull, and into the skull, lighting it up. And you feel the light and the energy and the love. So great, so deep, so much. Now there's a, a beam of light from the skull. And it's coming right into your heart, chakra. Bring it in. 
fill your body more with that love and light connecting you with the skull and you with all of us together and feel the love of the creator it's with us and through us now As the group, just bring the energy and let it expand up, expand up. Just let yourself floating up into the sky, into the heavens. And from that point, we want to send this light and love and just spread it out, spread it out. It goes all around the earth. And if your mind, you can see it going around the earth, this beautiful golden light. And you feel the blessings from the divine thanking each and every one of us for opening our hearts and helping bring this energy into the world now that it needs us at a point in time that this is now. Now it's ready. As the light workers you are, you can go anywhere now and go to any place. And as you come into a place, let's go together. We'll go to the island of Hawaii and going to the area where the, all the fires started, right? Where the Lemurian gate is, this most one of the most powerful Lemurian gates on the planet that has been in problem with the fire. But what we're going to do is we're going to send it Send it love, send it love, universal love, send it into that and send it into the people wherever they are that, or the entities wherever they are, send them love back. And then send them freedom. So let the freedom that they're, they're free from you and free from them and forgiveness, feel the forgiveness going to them. You forgive them. And you send them love now. As you do that, you feel the big weight kind of drops off. Oh, there it is. And because all things is a part of us, too. We are a part of the collective, the universal collective. And so if something we don't like, it's something we can, we can control by not trying to fight it or change it, but by forgiving it and sending it this love. So as you go around now, wherever you see war or hurt or untruths that need to be touched, send that love and light. You have it to go. Take it and send it now. David, when you if you feel something, go in or, yeah, you know what to do. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of fist out connecting in because I saw Phil was in the inner earth working on Gaia's crystalline course. So I thought I would go to Agartha and uh connect with the Garthans with their crystalline. So I'm just connected. They have these uh masters, they look like Palladians. Um, they're just around the Antarctica mm -hmm. and um, they're they are uh, they have a whole crystalline uh city in earth in our earth just through this passageway and so we're just tapping into their crystalline energies uh, because they can amplify everything too with the skulls and so i'm just um we're just sitting down with the masters from agartha at the moment in the crystal temples of agartha and uh, it's very high frequency and um just viewing what they want to show us here um, what we can do to assist during the lion's gate and um they're showing me um the th there's many specific um energies that we can tap into because you were talking about the lumerian um so they are opening up Lumar lumeria timeline right now for us to connect to the crystalline temples um the 
the temple Lumerian temples uh, and and activate them right now on the planet um, where they are geographically located for huge light anchor points. Um, so as we they have this white light screen, it's like this holographic display of these um, Lumerian temples um, over the planet. And if you just intend to use the skull energy to connect and, and our light to connect with the Lumerian temple points on the planet, and we're, we're going to actually activate all of them right now, bringing all the holy centers back online from the time before to the timeline now. We're just going to concentrate. And I know this ties into what Phil's doing with Inner Earth Crystalline Course. So, Phil, what are you up to over there exactly? Busy. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, I've, I've merged with my Lemurian uh, I, I priestess aspects actually, and my an ever added crystal source being. And we're just doing some work on uh, on the crystalline, but also on the grids because I think the grids have been I keep on getting attacked. Yeah, they a have lot more been. than normal, a lot more than normal. But I think if we um, anchor down the temple light, the temple centers anchor points into Gaia's crystalline core at each of these holy centers, and then connect all of the temples together um, by grids on the earth. You know what I mean? So we go, we're sending the light down, uh, showing, this is the Agarthan showing me now. So we send the light down to all the holy temples of Lumeria, which activate now across the planet, straight down into Gaia's core, right into the crystalline core of Gaia. So they all are anchored in. And then we send, it's like the holy hearts of these like temples, the grid points, we connect them together. So it creates this network of light, this new grid, this Lumerian grid, um, should say this old grid, this Lumerian grid across the planet. So that's happening now. And it has a a different kind of a um, connection. It's It's like... You know the uh, the grid, it it goes like in a cert the the light it goes in the circular to each other like the, and it expands out. It's not a typical grid. It's um it's a different kind of grid. It's like a universal grid in a way. How the universe light moves in the universe it's like you know like a, in a circular wave. It looks like this grid is a different kind of a grid, um, but it's connecting. Um, so let's go concentrate back um, on Agartha here for a second. Let's see what we're supposed to do after this. Okay, so this is obviously opening up a portal now. Um, uh, to other vibrations maybe let me just go into it because i just want to see some kind of a, like a there's there's these high vibrational beings coming out of some kind of rainbow portal now because we just did this to assist with this and i don't know who they are i'm just tuning into them and this portal and seeing where they're coming from they seem very heavenly in nature um but they're they're a little bit different than heavenly uh They're the priestesses of the temples. Um, mm. Okay. So they are key holders to these grids. So everything now, they're coming along the planet at the holy centers now. They're actually going to connect light with us. They're Oh, they're going to upgrade all of our grids. All of our grids right now, everybody here is getting upgraded now to this high Lumerian a grid system i guess we're gonna anchor it in within ourselves right now it's uh, a whole upgrade of our energies at the moment um to the holy centers of lumeria that's interesting and now we're like in the middle of all these priestesses they're all connecting their golden light to our uh upgrade the 
the earth chakras, but within us as well. So it's sort of like a within and a without, um, within us and then a without on meaning on the grids of the planet, a double activation at the same time. I'm feeling I'm feeling consciousness um, reaching out. This is weird. Who is it? Really high frequency coming from the ocean. It's a whale. What? Strange. I'm connecting to a whale right now somewhere um, uh, in and around. Um, I'm not sure where. I'm just tuning in now. I see. Okay, so they're connected. This um, there's more. There's more beings connecting here. Um, uh, vibrations of deities of light and stuff that are in in um, dimensions of the uh, ocean. They look like light beings, and they're with the the whales. I, I it seems like they're the caretakers. They're like caretaking over the frequencies of the oceans, so they're getting involved in this now. Um, Agartha is really opening up this amazing light. I've never seen them do this before. Um, it's pure golden crystalline frequency. It is the purest. They're sending it into our, into the um, outer grids, the galactic grids. Um, this whole field is coming over us now across the planet. It's massive golden crystalline frequency. I've never seen them do this before. Uh, we are uplifting all now. We are uplifting the planet's frequency now. Coding the new grids, the new age into the galactic grids and the earth grids, the heavenly bodies all now receiving this light Lumerian yes it's Lumerian frequency it is higher octaves than you have had before okay how did you create this all of us all of us we are all connected we are all connecting there's many 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 they even have these mermaids energies because they can shape shift i guess um i know you would think antarctica can't have a paradise but inside where they live it is a paradise it's a total paradise um even when uh, there's a whole book on it um where the, like an old um general i can't remember his name discovered it and um bird yes yes exactly bird emerald bird mm -hmm. that's it so it is a paradise and so they have um i didn't know they had some of them shape-shifted into these mermaids but uh, uh they're all connecting here because it's all connecting now to their ocean consciousness now this higher frequency now coming into our consciousness um, everything seems to be shifting up and it's amazing upgrade. So, Phil, what are you? What are you seeing? Uh, what was funny is when you said the Lemurian eye priestess. That's one of my aspects. So she started laughing. 
the crystal source being aspect is actually assisting with like a protection on the grids so they can't infiltrate it again. I know it's it's getting high vibration, but she had to dislodge some of the uh some of the old stuff that uh, they've been doing to it, the dark walls. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um so just wanna focus on these masters and Agartha one more time just to make sure there's if there's anything else for us to do with this connection. Oh, wow. Now it's just spreading. Now they're just spreading it all across the planet. This huge wave of light. Uh, is that going in the ley lines, David? In yeah. The yeah it's so good. Oh, it's just like freedom is here. It feels like so amazing. Oh, my God. That is just purity flowing through everybody now on the planet. It's incredible. This is the power of the Lumerian temples and this new grid that came on. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. oh, it feels so good. Wow. You guys. Is that helping the diamond uh, grid, the new one on the outer one? And the outer, the old one, it was uh, it was uh, dormant for about hundred thousand years. Is that been reactivated then? Hmm. Maybe because I'm seeing. You remember that crystal pyramid in space? Something's yeah. going on with it right now. There's something like some new power source, Lumerian power source, going into it. Um, <clears throat> for the, so this is going to be obviously the pyramids are going through an upgrade then. Clearly. Okay. Feels amazing, though. It's going yeah. To, uh, Coming down through the pyramids of Giza into the grids that go into these major lines. So make sure we also remember that's the starting point. And also, with the skull, I'm giving a great appreciation, but I'm also saying, giving a, a command to make this all solid, true, and permanent. That's a great idea. Is done. It is finished. That's well. Beautiful. Oh. Mm. Everybody's going to get Makaba upgrades now across the whole planet. It's mm -hmm. fantastic. Even the, the Earth, the Earth Makaba is going through an upgrade itself. It's just this is incredible. I've never seen anything like this. Much blessings to you. That's a lot of freedom. Yeah, freedom. Oh. Mm -hmm. Rick Arthur showing me how close the, the signature of the new earth frequency is to this frequency that we're in right now and um, it is the new earth frequency so this is going to be like the the catapult for this, this uh, wave of ascension and this shift and stuff um, 
I don't know how how quick, but certainly this is going to go through everybody and mom. So amazing. Yeah, Dave, I say the original Earth blueprint. Yeah. We we did get there were some attempts for sabotages and it's been sorted. I don't know if you knew that. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, there's not a lot of bad guys that would like what we're doing right now, but yeah, such a high frequency, they can't even, well, they can try things, but it's a good thing that keeping an eye out and making sure everything is, we've got a sacred space set up as well, so it's very protected and um, back to Arthur, okay, these new beings of light, really high, beautiful. These must be the Emerald Order uh, 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 of the of another octave of light, and just okay. Um, they're working on sun grids and other things. They're like their deities. They're just um, everything is going to be upgrading now including our own sun um so this is um what we're doing is going to continue on with the cooperation of the uh these other deities um so i think that is well certainly that is going to bring in a lot of unity that is for certain I think we should just feel into, again, these Lemurian holy temples that we just activated. Because they're spread across the, the biggest energy vortexes on the planet. And they're the biggest grid points. Some of them have the uh, churches on them for whatever reason, but we'll just take over the whole grid point light. I think the, the Taj Mahal's on one actually, interestingly mm -hmm. enough. That's okay. We have all of these ancestors, Lemurian ancestors. Uh, the Elven Kingdoms are coming up. This is crazy. There's a lot of light coming here uh, on top of these grids. So good. So many vibrations of love. It's great. Yeah, I think we did it. It's, um, definitely sent our gratitude into the Garthans, uh, Mother Gaia, the Angelics, all the deities, all the beings of light that are assisted, everybody here who assisted. Bill, are you seeing anything else to do here? Well, I see the only thing I, I'm feeling that it's it's you know the grid lines going outside the earth. So there's grid lines around the earth, which we work with, but there's grid lines connecting the planets and the the stars. Right. And all together. And I feel that, you know, there were a lot of it, there was some they were able to move them a little bit and move in them. They were able to throw uh, different changes in the world with their, you know, with their what they were trying to do. But now, the I feel that these crystalline structures between our planets, between our sun and our galaxies, because going through the sun is like a gate to everywhere, and we bring that that love that we're feeling going out there, it's coming back so strong into us. It's making these, all these points really uh, so solid. And, and it's like, they're not able to, to not, they don't have any way of changing it now. It's already locked in. It hasn't been that way for, for eons. Yeah. Kath, do you have anything to say? That's just what I was going to say. It's so permanent. So, you know, this can't be changed and it's only going to get 
higher frequency and more, but I saw the same thing just going out for the all the universes and so much celestial light and love coming in because we did this. I mean, just it just makes me want to cry. Just so much love. And yeah. now it's just expanding, expanding. You know, every grid, every point. And I did see the you know the 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 temple goddesses and stuff. They look like angels, you know, just helping us. It's amazing. Yeah, that, if, from our hearts coming together mm -hmm. and filling it with this love and light from the center point with the skull, we're sending out forgiveness to all of the planet and th through the grid lines into the cosmos. The making a difference. We're making a difference in the universe. So sending that light out. And uh, by doing that and sending light and love, and now we send lots of love with all that we, every bit of our being send out the love to all those that, uh, that need the light in their life and, the, and just let, forgive them and let it go. But, that's breaking our con our connection with them in our world, ourselves. So let that happen. And in doing that, this, that's the change will start happening. So feel it. Feel that love sending it out. Send the forgiveness to uh, this person did this and he, he dropped bombs on this country and they're doing this. Just send them all. Don't worry about it. Just send them. Forgiveness and love to all the world. You know, I had that message about two minutes ago. Similar message. All these manipulators, send them love because That's right. they, they won't get it. <laughs> It'll yeah. Change them. it. Yeah. We, yeah, send them love, them. And, but we need to also forgive them because, mm -hmm. you know, that's we don't want to connect to them. You don't want to make a, oh, we did this to them, they did this to us. No, we... Just let them go. And yeah, you, we want to let them go, not pull them in. Yeah, and when you say that, that I, mean, I feel it to me. I don't know if you feel it, but when you say, think about something or something that is bothering you, say, I forgive you and I send you love. And when I say that, I just like a big wave. Ooh, that's really good. You can feel something happening. So take that, take that energy and put it into your hand like an energy ball, send it love and light to the heavens, to the spiritual realm of the angels, let them take care of it, but see a dove coming out of the light and seeing it love and forgiveness into that light. Right. Mm. Looks great. That's, and you'll that's, see a dove transform out of that light as it goes to the heavens. Yeah. For the universal of what we're talking about, that's really good. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. What I'm getting is, I don't know if you know, it's a, a long time ago when Earth was lost to the Dark Ones, they turned the axis off 28 degrees so they could feed all the, all the energy to their place. And it's now going back to its original place. So once it goes back to its original place and at the outer grid, it's dormant, it's starting to get activated. And then it, we've got the original Earth back, basically the blueprints back. Wow. Yeah, so that's what wow. I'm getting. That's so true. That's so good. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Thank you all. Thank yes. you all. Thank, Thank, you all. Everyone. Thank you, David. Thank you, everyone. That was Thank beautiful. You. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thanks, everybody. It was fun. Bring awesome. us back on the cup. Does anybody have anything else they want to add before we bring it back? No. Okay. I, I, didn't, bring it. I didn't see the skull in the center of the earth. And as you're putting the the grids out and seeing all the lines sporadically go out of golden lights through the center, the skulls in the center, and you have the, the other skulls surrounding it. And as your heart, all of our heart chakras were all connected, holding hands, almost like paper dolls coming around. I told you about this. And then um, our heart chakras go into the skull and the skull just shines all this light into the grids of the earth to ignite it with the other skulls. 
and helping humanity and raising the vibration of Mother Guy and raising our own personal vibrations to a higher consciousness. That's what I was seeing. Like almost like a, a wheel of light from a center point of the earth and just just sporadically lights going everywhere into the grids to ignite the grids. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Uh, bring us back on the count of five now. One, just feel the energy coming back into your body. Two, just feeling it. You're fit, coming through your body, coming out your fingertips and toes as you're coming back. Three, that's all that love and light is with you, around you, all now and forever. Four, you're almost back. And five, you can open your eyes whenever you're ready. And I send you all much God's love from my heart and always. And a connection between the other 12 skulls, I open now. And much blessings for all the beings that worked with us and helped us this day, on this special day of sending this energy. Much love, much love. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. It was so beautiful. It was. And thank you, everyone, for your love and your grace and your words of inspiration and combining all of our heart chakras together to blend together as a conduit for the higher purpose of humanity evolving and the love that we send to humanity through our love and through the skull and all the other skulls, yeah. God's humanity, yeah. God's love. Thank you. All right. I'm going to Taj Mahal. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to Taj Mahal now. Now that I know that Taj Mahal is a little bit. I want to go to. I want. I want. I want to um, transport oh there. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Can we ask her project there right now? All of us. Of course. Yeah. We can. I think we're like we're on all the holy temples right now. To be honest with you. Yes, we are. It's we're, amazing. We're <laughs> what came up with a, something up? I'll see how we can work on it later. It's something to do with the continent of Africa. Yes. And mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, that came up that, that came up a couple of days ago with me. Yeah, yeah so. I think there is a temple, a Lumerian temple. There there might even be a couple out in Africa. A few of them. Yeah, and there's yeah, there well because of its ancient past and everything there's but also a point there there's underneath Af africa is a either a spaceship one th third the size of africa underneath it or a part of another planet that's gone and hit and went underneath something is there but it's like it's like a could be a flying saucer hmm. and uh that would be interesting to think about that a little bit because there's still life forms entities ets whatever are very uh much active there now they're waking up yes i would agree interesting that's that's something we can take a look at it should be interesting so yep so i'm gonna I'm on, that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on that note. On that note. Glad we get, get together tonight. It's really nice. Yeah. And Thank you all for being here, really, because it was such a big, Thank you. big deal for, for all of us. It really was important. Thank you. Thank you all, human beings. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Love thank you. you for coming all the way from the United Kingdom, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't sleep. He just stays. I guess. No, we, we, we had a chat when, was it yesterday, three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I was at work at seven. Right. Work at, I, I just wanted to say one thing that I've been told recently is to raise water's vibration to its original blueprint. I've been trying to do that. Getting the codes from the Kashik and mixing it with uh, high vibrational energy. So, I agree. I agree yeah. with that. Yeah. The yeah. water is the key. Yeah. To a lot of this happening. So we have 
That is, I feel, yeah. That's, yeah, I agree. I agree. I got that. Water is such a huge conduit, and it's one of the elements. So, yeah, so very powerful. Yeah. It's like a, pro, it's like a program, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. That's <laughs> such an intelligence. Mm -hmm. I yeah, love well, you all. Thank you so much. For thank you. Uh, I got to do a podcast right after this. I know they don't bring my emotions okay. into anything. <laughs> I hope I but I'm glad I, I'm glad I was here. I'm glad you aren't you glad you came? Yeah, my back actually feels really good. Thank you, beautiful skull. Thank you, everyone, and thank you. Yeah. Good to see your husband there. That's yeah, we got John Boy here. I was like, please come and support me. <laughs> and support the cause. No, I not only support the cause, he's his energy is so high and he he's the master with that's just quietly watches the whole thing. So he is awesome. Observe it. Very observe it. <laughs> But he yeah. was doing his meditation. I was so proud of him. He's doing his meditation. Very good. Well, it's it's really natural to him. So I'm sure. Much he's waking up. He's waking yeah. up. Oh, he's, there, if he gets weight to what he is, that'll be really, it'll be awesome. So yeah, much love, everybody. Have a a super Lionsgate. We did. We did. We changed. Love the you world. all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you.